Yo, what is going on guys? Savage here. Now, I've been getting a lot of positive feedback with my tips videos, so I decided we're going to take it a step further. We're going to listen to a few comments and one of my most one of my most asked questions was, Savage, can you please do a video on pro tips? Now, there's a lot of tips I can give you that professional players use and we'll make this a multi-video series, but today we're going to focus on a few aspects and mostly movement. And I'm going to go ahead and give you some spoilers so you guys can decide right now if you want to stay and watch or not. But we're going to be discussing drop shotting, slide canceling, and bunny hopping. These three things are essential if you want to be a fantastic Warzone player. But guys, before we get into it, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I promise you will not be disappointed. This video is about to be a banger. Also, hit the like button. Let's get this video to 200 likes. And guys, if you enjoy this video, let me know in the comment section below. And if you have any other questions, please also put it in the comment section below. All right, guys, first thing we're talking about is slide canceling. Slide canceling is probably my favorite pro tip to give anybody. And a lot of people know how to do it. A lot of people see it being done. Um, they know it's a strategy. They do it sometimes, but they don't do it often or correctly. They don't understand why and how it's a tactical advantage. So we're going to go over how to slide cancel, when to slide cancel, and when not to slide cancel. So first off, let's talk about what slide canceling. Slide canceling is a technique that not only boosts your movement speed, but it gives you infinite sprint. Now, in order to get the infinite sprint option, what you want to do is rock double time. This is a must. No question about it. This is your normal sprint speed right here. And then, of course, when you activate your super sprint, so to speak, your guy puts the gun in the air like he don't care. And then once it runs out, he puts it down. Now you can hit the sprint button again, but he will not activate it until you stop moving, reactivate the walk, and go with the sprint. But when you're playing Warzone, you can't just stop, wait for it to reset, and then do it again. That's going to get you shot. So what you do is you slide cancel. What slide cancel is, is it's slide, slide, and sprint. Or if you're mouse and keyboard, it's CC and shift. Um, I believe PlayStation would be circle, circle, L3. And well, I haven't played Xbox control in a while, so I do not know the Xbox layout anymore. Um, you want to keep doing this. So whenever I'm navigating in the map, I'm always slide canceling. This does a lot of things for me. One, it keeps me engaged in the game. It keeps my fingers moving. It keeps my attention up, keeps my awareness up, and I'm ready at all times. I mean, there's a lot of things going on. So you want to stay engaged in the war zone because at any moment things can pop off. So if you watch my Twitch streams at all, you always notice that I'm always slide canceling around the map. It may be annoying to watch to a lot of people, but this is the best way to navigate across the map. Not only does a slide boost your speed, but because of the infinite sprint, you're moving twice as fast as other players who are not utilizing this tactic. Now, I will tell you, always, always do this tactic. And you might be like, Savage, you know, I'm not trying to try hard, blah, blah, blah. But look, say there's enemies over here and they're running away from me. They don't know I'm coming after them and I want to catch up to them. So like I said, most players don't use slide canceling. So all you got to do is slide cancel and you will catch up to them too. When you're slide canceling, what is it doing to your hitbox? It's making your hitbox smaller. You're now shorter. You're a harder target to hit. You're a moving target and you're changing height. It's a real pain in the ass for people. It's a real pain in the ass for snipers. You're tired of getting sniped, guys? Slide cancel. But getting that headshot is very, very hard because what you're doing is, let's say this is my head right here, right? Sniper's always going for my head. When I duck, his bullet is going to go right over me unless he times it perfectly. Now, a lot of people mess up the slide cancel and I see this a lot because I am a sniper main. I love sniping. It's my favorite. And yes, I use the AX50. But the thing about it is when people try to slide cancel and they're attempting to and they don't know how, what they do is this, right? And they get up and they go again. And they're like, I'm slide canceling. This is this is what I'm doing, Savage. Yeah, look at me. I'm slide canceling. That's not slide canceling. What that is, is it's an easy target. When I'm sniping, I love, I love to see somebody run it and then they slide. And then you just literally put your crosshair right where they're about to go and they slide right into it. And you should, guys, you're better off not even sliding. If you're not going to slide cancel properly, if you're not going to practice this technique, do not even try to attempt it because you will be an easier shot for snipers. Some people slide longer. You don't have to go as fast as I am. Sometimes I'll go super fast where you don't even realize what I'm doing and you see my gun going away. Sometimes I'll actually go into like a half slide and then I'll activate it. Uh, it's really just personal preference and it really depends on what I'm doing. Which leads me to my next reason why you should slide cancel. Let's say there's a guy sitting right here, right? Whether you know he's there or not, you should always be checking your corners as you enter buildings, round corners, whatever the case may be. You always need to be scanning as you check corners. So what normal people would do is this, you know, they'll walk up and they'll look around and, th and the next thing they know they're dead. There's a guy sitting right here and they get shot in the head. More skilled players, you know, they'll go right here and they'll jump and they'll shoot, right? Which is not a bad technique. And we'll get into bunny hopping in a second. What a lot of players will do too is this, you know, they'll scan slowly and then they'll get shot. The problem with scanning is the fact that your ADS speed is slowed. At least it should be. You should not have the same ADS speed as you do sensitivity. So the option, the better option, the best option would be slide into it, right? And you can do multiple things. You can pre-fire it as you're sliding. 
it's just the best way to do it. Now, I will also say that whenever you're sliding, you're gonna slide into a stop, right? So at, right here, when you're still in the sliding motion, because technically my body will still keep going. So right here, before, before your body stops moving, you're already looking at the enemy. But what the enemy sees is you looking this way. What this does is it gives him a sense of security. For that split second, for that moment, he sees you and your threat level to him is not that high because you're looking at the van on his screen. However, because of the way the game was designed, you're actually looking at him. It's actually a little bit of a server desync. So basically like what you see on your screen isn't what they see on their screen. And I know a lot of you guys have run into that in Warzone and Call of Duty matches in general. That's exactly what's happening. You're moving so fast that he's not registering what's going on. Now, a lot of players will do this too. They'll slide cancel into the corner. That's not what you want to do because then you slide. He hears you slide and you stop right there with this crosshair into your face. You want to slide cancel past the boxes. You want to slide cancel past the corner. Don't slide cancel into the corner. You'll die. Slide cancel past the corner. That's the best way. Now, I will say side canceling and turning on corners is easier with a higher sensitivity. Now, after that, we're going to go ahead and throw in a very basic tip that a lot of you guys know, but you don't utilize. And we'll get into more advanced tips after this. But we're going to be talking about drop shotting. Now, savage so drop shotting. Oh, this video sucks. I'm backing out. No, don't, because I can't tell you how many times I haven't been killed by drop shotters. I've got over a thousand games played in Warzone, and I've probably been killed by a drop shotter a dozen times, maybe. You want to drop shot when it's a 1v1 situation. You definitely don't want to drop shot whenever there's you know four people staring at you if it's a 1v1 1v2 you can pull it off so basically what happens is if you get in a gunfight if you're in a gunfight what are you aiming for torso or their head you should be aiming for their head but you know newer players will aim for the bigger body mass which is thinner mass right so most people on average will aim for the chest so if you aim for the chest and they drop shot you what happens they fall to the ground and it takes a second for you to delay so you're shooting 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 they drop now you can't really see where they're at because your crosshair's in the way you aim down you've already missed 10 bullets you might have to reload soon but regardless as they're dropping they're putting damage on you and you're delayed you're not putting damage on them because now you're having a transition to the ground now in order to avoid getting killed by a drop shotter and get the one up on the enemy as well is drop shotting yourself whether they drop shot or not i always recommend drop shotting now a lot of players that i do see drop shot they'll drop then they'll ads and then they'll shoot once you drop they're already transitioning so by the time you ADS, they're already shooting you. And because you're laying prone, your headshot hitbox is the first thing they're going to hit. So they're going to actually get headshots. You put yourself in a vulnerable position. The whole point of drop shotting is element of surprise and confusion. So as you're drop shotting, you want to ADS and shoot at the same time. So what happens is when you drop shot, if you notice there's a bounce, you see that? You see that bounce right there? It actually bumps your crosshair up to their head. Now, I'm going to explain how to do this. A lot of you guys are like, Savage, duh, we know how to do it. But there's a lot of players that don't. There's a lot of new Call of Duty players, younger Call of Duty players who have never dealt with this before. All right, guys, next we're going to be talking about double jumping. Now, I see a lot of people attempt to do double jump, but they fail miserably. One of the bad things that I see people do, believe it or not, is they'll be ADSing. Actually, let's do this. They know, like, they know I'm right here, right? What they'll do is they'll sit here, they'll ADS, and then they'll do this. And they're like, ah, bunny hopped you, bitch. Ah, but... It didn't. What bunny hopping really is. I got stopped by the forklift, okay? But you'll go much further. Now, with bunny hopping, it takes a lot of practice. I sat in this program. I sat in this lobby for a while trying to get the timing down, trying to time it to tell you guys exactly when to hit it, but it's going to take practice. As you see right here, I went from there to here. Now let's let's determine if I don't do a double jump correctly. So this would be a normal attempt. And look at the difference. Look at the absolute difference. Now, let me ask you as a player, guys, what would be an easier target to shoot? A guy who jumps past the wall for about three extra feet or a guy who jumps past the wall about 12 extra feet? Let's look at it from his perspective. So if, if I'm sitting here and I'm pre-aiming the corner and I see a guy bunny hop to right here which is the one that messed up it's a lot easier to transition from here to here than to track a target all the way to here right so from an enemy's perspective it's a lot harder to track a target that's moving super fast and going a further distance than you're actually expecting a lot of you guys are like savage we have jobs we have wives we have kids whatever the case may be we have things to do 
Okay, you don't have to just sit in a practice lobby like I'm doing, practicing for an hour or two hours. You guys can do this in multiplayer. You guys can do this in Warzone. All right, this next tip isn't about movement. It's just basic fundamentals. So as you're navigating the map, I try to tell players, remember to keep your crosshair at head level. A lot of players will run looking like this. You see streamers do, you see YouTubers do, you see everybody doing it. This is bad because what happens is if a guy rounds the corner right there, not only do you have to go up, but you have to go over or at an angle. You have to transition to the target. Now, if you, if this is a good player that round the corner and you're staring at the ground, he's going to kill you. He's going to shoot. He's going to start shooting you before you're even transitioned onto him, no matter how fast your reaction time is. So what you want to do is keep your crosshair head level. That way, if he rounds the corner or jumps across, all you have to do is this. That's it. Whether your mouse or keyboard or controller, it doesn't matter. This is a basic fundamental, but this isn't the fundamental I wanted to teach you guys. What I wanted to teach you guys is, of course, as you're running, always keep your crosshair level just in case someone pops out so you can get a nice little headshot. But the most important thing is if you think there's an enemy in windows or doorways or around a corner, pre-aim it and keep your crosshair on it as you're running. Let's say, let's say there's an enemy right here, or I think there's an enemy right here. You know, I have a UAV up. It shows that there's a player in the building. As I'm running up, I want to always have my crosshair on here in case he does peek and I can get that quick hit. So if you think there's a player somewhere, always keep your crosshair on it, always. So if I think there's a player right here, I'm gonna keep my crosshair on it. I'm gonna keep my body next to cover as I push. And then once I know I'm clear, I'm gonna rotate to the next area I think they're at. And then I'm gonna jump across, think they're clear, and then I'm gonna jump in. So as far as the tip of keeping your crosshair where you think the enemy's gonna be, the same thing applies with slide canceling and bunny hopping. So if I think there's a player below the staircase right here, I'm going to slide and get ready to look. So as you can see, as I'm sliding, I rotate. That way I'm already aiming as soon as I pass, right? A lot of players will slide cancel like this, and then they'll turn into it. That's an easy way to get shot in the head. You want to slide turn and just keep sliding that's what you want you want to be sliding into the peak not peeking after the slide does that make sense so again if i think he's down here as i'm sliding as i'm sliding i'm going to turn my crosshairs already about this point before i cross that way if i cross i'm already lined up ready to blow this dude into oblivion same thing applies with bunny hopping. As I'm bunny hopping and rounding a corner, I want to go ahead and have my crosshair pre-aimed before I peek. So that means if I'm bunny hopping and there's a target right here, I want to be aimed at that area by the time I'm here. Not when I'm here because my shoulder's already peeking and definitely not when I'm out here. You want to be turned into it. Now, we were not going to do a bunny hop. We're just going to do a simple hop. And I want, to, I want you to see how to time it, right? This is where I want to aim. If he's back there, I don't want my shoulder peeking. I don't want him to see me. I don't even want him to know I'm coming. He might be able to hear me, but this is where I'm going to start my bunny hop. See? And of course, as you're bee hopping, you want to transition your target. You want to move the crosshair as your body's moving as well. Um, These are basic fundamentals. People look at streamers. People look at these pro gamers and they're like, wow, they have great reaction time. And yes, they do. These guys have some of the best reaction time you'll ever see. However, I think for the most part, your average gamer has a pretty good reaction time. And that just comes from the hours and hours we game. So if a target pops out, you can transition on them real quick. Uh, I'm sure everybody, I'm sure everyone's watching this video at some point or another. If you've played this game for more than, you know, 12 hours, you've been able to 180 on somebody after they shot, you, right? So if we all have decent reaction time, what is the quality that most players are missing? Fundamentals. Guys, practice makes perfect. And guys, this was a pretty long video just for four tips. I do have a lot more pro tips to give. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I'll be putting out another pro tips video next week. You guys want to catch that. It's not going to be so much movement based, just other aspects of the game. And we'll dive into that next week. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If this helped you in any way, shape or form, let me know in the comment section below. If you're having struggles, you're having troubles with uh, getting the B hop down, get the timing down. Come pop over on my Twitch stream. Ask any questions if you have any. But guys, good luck. Again, practice while you're playing, guys. Next time you're playing Warzone, if you're going around a building, you want to clear the side of it, practice a bunny hop. Guys, practice, practice, practice. Practice makes perfect. There's no reason why anyone can't get this fundamental down. This is pretty basic. All it takes is a little bit of patience. Guys, y'all have a good one. And until next time, peace. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, check out some of these other tip videos or how to get better at mouse and keyboard videos if you're interested in that. Thank you, guys. Again, do not forget to hit subscribe button. Check me out on Twitch. And let's get this video 200 likes. Until next time, guys, y'all have a good one. Stay safe and get those wins.